you guys and welcome back to another one of my studio vlogs feels really weird saying that because i haven't done one of these in a very long time um so my shop has actually been closed temporarily for um the past month i've just had so much going on i've been so 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 busy so i ended up closing my shop because it was just too much to sort of take on dealing with that and orders and whatever um but i have been meaning to reopen my shop for a long time so yesterday i started doing a bit of a restock which you guys would have seen i spent five to seven hours um packaging treats and stuff um and labeling them and i also ordered in some things that i need um i only have tuesdays and wednesdays off work but those days tend to be quite busy um as well simply because I do things that I can't do while I'm at work on those days um, and I also do editing but next week I am going to try and make some um, chew toys so I can restock um, and once I've got most of the items back in stock then I can reopen my store um, and then certain things like the flour and the forage boxes they will be added again a little bit later I just want to have a majority of stuff ready to go for when you guys order um, I'm also going to be releasing my first hamster box of the year this should have gone out June slash July happened and i haven't been able to do that but i'm sure you guys will still love the boxes anyway so the boxes will be bee themed and bluebell was supposed to have a bee themed cage a couple of weeks ago we're going to be cleaning her cage out very soon um and giving her the bee items but she'll probably only have them for a couple of weeks before i switch it out to an autumnal or halloween themed cage so in my next video you guys will probably see me packing the bee subscription boxes but this studio vlog is kind of going to be me restocking and i just wanted to show you guys my new tripod um so i got this from work um i work at an rspca charity shop now part-time four days a week so we get all sorts of stuff in and i found this amazing tripod it's a really good quality one as well i have big tripods and small tripods but i don't have like a medium one sort of in between if that makes sense um so this is perfect and i was using it yesterday when i was filming um so i can get some interesting angles and whatnot so this was a really good find and i've got this parcel here which i'm so excited to open this is from smudge and mr moon it's got the bee hammocks in um it's also got something for bluebell that she made um it's like a bee themed item and apparently there's something edible in there which i'm really excited she mentioned it today she's like you gotta open the box soon um and yeah so i'm gonna open this with you guys at some point um i've just got some boxes here my room is like a little bit of a mess um because of the redecorating and such and things are slowly getting back to normal quickly show you guys how the drawers are right now um so the only difference in here um are these yellow heart dishes i'm not sure how popular they're going to be and i also have a couple of these flower dishes um these are actually going to be in the bee boxes but i like to order extra dishes because sometimes when they arrive they're a bit broken so i ordered some extras just to cover me in case they broke but they all arrived fine and then 
in this drawer I've stocked up on all of the treats which is lovely um so this is what I've been working on well I did restock the treats um yesterday but I also done some last week as well actually um so yeah everything is all nicely stocked I've got some whimsies back here um these are all the baked treats um freeze-dried chicken which i do need to get some labels for um i ordered them yesterday it's just got the best before date at the back because i like to stick them um on my treats so they basically look like that and then i also need to get some more dandelion root in and um this is what this looks like and they have labels at the back now as well so i didn't used to put labels on them because um i used to package them slightly differently but they look a lot nicer packaged like this and then this drawer is a bit of a mess over here we have like um bluebells food and treats which i need to sort through i'm going to be restocking all the garlands um and all of these sort of hanging shoes um these are just looper shoes and these shoes that are in here i think i'm going to discontinue them the hanging ones don't really sell that well to be honest with you but these small ones they do sell really really well especially the rainbow one this is like a super super popular one and i started using these bows these rainbow bows to go with them so pretty so i'm going to be temporarily discontinuing these so whatever's here i'm gonna list them on my etsy once they're gone they're gone simply because that will give me 10 less variations to create um because when it comes to making chew toys it takes hours and each one takes a couple of minutes to make but the thing is like this particular one i think i do it in about three to four different colors so if i want to make say 10 then i'll have to make 10 of each and then that means i'm making like 40 because because I have to make one of each colour. So when I'm already making these, um, this shoot, the garlands, um, it all kind of adds up. So if I can just remove these two from my website, um, from my Etsy, that will be great. And then it will give me, and then I can spend more time on stocking up on these. I have two exciting parcels to open. This is stock that I've ordered for my bee hamster subscription boxes, which I'm gonna be releasing very soon. I've had this big parcel sitting in my room for weeks. It's from Smudge and Mr. Moo. Um, this is a company I get Bluebell's hammocks from. The lady is lovely. And there's also a few extra bits in there for Bluebell and something for myself as well, apparently. Um, and then this one up here, I forgot the shop's name, but I will have it linked in the description as well as um, Smudge and Mr. Moo. Um, and these are made by a lovely lady um, and yeah, I'm just so excited to show you guys these items and I thought I'll quickly show you um, three new Stanley knives that I got. Um, they're really cute. So I thought these would be a lot easier for opening parcels. So this one seems to be a chick. Um, this one is an egg and this one is like a cat <laughs> paw print. Um, so I thought I would just grab them um, along with my usual scissors to do this quick little unboxing. So we'll start with this one first oh these look so cute oh my god i love these how adorable <laughs> so these are some bee chews and they've been hand painted i love these oh oh my god this is so cute i can't remember if she told me that she was going to include this I don't think she did, but this is adorable. Oh my God, okay, let's just put that aside. Oh, and she's packaged them all as well, which is perfect. Oh, wow. Okay, let's try and get these all out. So these are all of the hammocks for my subscription boxes. And these items, there's a couple of like extra items over there. Let's just move the box. <laughs> and look what she's done with the tags. That is so sweet. So she's tagged them. And she's popped a little bee on them. Oh my god, the attention to detail is amazing. I was just expecting her to have just made the hammocks and not have them packaged or anything. Um, but I really appreciate the extra detail. So you guys are going to love these. I'm only doing 25 boxes, unfortunately. And I have a feeling they'll probably sell out really fast because this is actually the only box I'm... Well, it's not going to be the only box I'm releasing this year, hopefully, but it's the only box I've released this year. Onto these things. So this is for Bluebell. So it says, thank you for ordering your hammocks from, from me, Debs. 
I love her tags. Oh, it says, I hope you enjoy um, your little gift and little Bluebell. Bluebell's gonna love this. So I think I'm gonna quickly um, <laughs> grab my phone and pop these on my Instagram stories because I never post anything on my Instagram anymore. I've just noticed my hand is in the way in the bottom, but I can't be asked to redo this. Um, let me just add this to my story now. So I just posted this one here. I hardly post my stories anymore and this one and then this video that I just showed you guys um but yeah so now that I've opened up these got my coffee over there again cold um I'm gonna open up this which is for Bluebell so these are her tunnels that she made I think she sent me a pumpkin one for autumn which I'm so excited to use and Bluebell absolutely loved the um the tunnel uh, the pumpkin tunnel so this one is pretty much the same but it's a b1 and this is the cutest thing ever i'm not sure how she's going to get on with these knowing her she'll probably pull them off because she can be quite aggressive but this is so cute she's gonna love this um she really likes her hammock she never sleeps in them she just sort of runs across them all the time and i can hear her in the night time because they sort of jingle when she's standing on them she also made me uh one of these Lubo has been spoiled as always she's such a spoiled little hamster but she's so mean um so this has been hand painted with pet safe paint of course and um it's a little beehive with little bees on it this is so cute oh this is gonna look so good in her cage i can just imagine her climbing on this oh yeah these are the mushrooms so we've got some mushrooms here um these are just cute <laughs> i've been wanting to do this for a while um paint these little wooden paint these little wooden um peg things because you can get them plain and then you can paint them and then this last item is for me and i can see it's an edible item and i don't want to break it <laughs> so let's open this with scissors it's a cookie i'm so excited to eat this because we were talking about these <laughs> like months ago um and i was saying how much i love these kind of cookies and um she showed me this bee one and i can't believe she got one for me oh my god this is so cute <gasps> oh this is just adorable so i actually went ahead and took a picture um of some stuff using my phone and the quality is actually really good i need to use my phone camera a lot more because this phone has a pretty good camera well, cameras it has like three um but the camera on this phone is pretty decent so i posted my first reel i don't know maybe 10 minutes ago or something like that and apparently already has 763 views which is crazy people really like watching reels on um, instagram and i just didn't know how they worked before so i decided to try it and it's really easy and i'm gonna be making some more and i just done this one here which is of the food dishes in front of me these are um i got these from work um i think probably on my first week i spotted them in the bric-a-brac section which is what we call like the sort of miscellaneous um ceramics glass etc um yeah so i found them i think these are some kind of food dishes for something and i thought they would be perfect for bluebell so i picked one up in every color oh i've just refreshed it and um my video has over 1000 views already that is crazy it was just on 600 like two minutes ago so good afternoon you guys it's my day off from work today um i've just been packaging some more treats in the kitchen for the last hour or so right now i'm going to start packaging um the flour mixes for my bee boxes um so here's just my labels i've picked out 25 um if i'm correct there's 24 stickers so i'm gonna have to hand write the 25th one um and these came in the post yesterday so these are huge i wasn't expecting them to be so big um i normally get them a lot smaller i normally get them like made in this size um however because i only needed like 25 um i got the pack of 24 and um these are huge but it's okay and this is what the packaging looks like so it's going to have my logo sticker on the front and then the name of the product on the back so i've got all the flowers here hopefully it's going to be enough
I have a very busy couple of hours ahead because I'm about to start making the chew toys for the bee boxes. So I have this box here, which is just a bit of a example box. Um, and I think this is close to what the final box is gonna look like. First one is this garland. Um, so it will look pretty similar to this one. However, I think I'm gonna do two yellow beads and two white beads um, because I won't have enough yellow beads to do all yellow um and then here we have this hanging tree which you can actually purchase on my etsy store so yeah you'll either get a white one of these or a yellow one of these in the bee box um so this morning i just sat down and counted out all the beads that i had if i had more time um i would have ordered some more yellow beads in um but because I've been so 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 busy I've just not been able to work in the way I would normally work um so unfortunately I'm gonna end up using all of these yellow beads and all of these white beads so I've ordered some more in um which because I do need them to make my uh, restock of the shoes for my shop so that's a little bit annoying but there's nothing I can do about that so this literally just came a couple of minutes ago um, from my postman and these are the rest of the beachy. just finished packaging a bunch of loofah chews so these are all 25 for the boxes and then I've just popped the extra ones in this drawer because I sell them on my Etsy and then I went through all of the loofah that I had and I've organized them really nicely into these bags um, it's just because they come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes and I prefer to use the really tiny ones in here and then the bigger ones I like to use them when I'm making my um, chew toys. Sorry if the lighting's really bad, it's not the best weather at the moment um, but it's coming up to almost four o'clock and I've just finished making 25 garlands. Um, I've just got to add the metal hooks to the end of them now and then I can pop them into these uh, paper bags and then pop a sticker on top unfortunately I'm just really tired so I never got around to making the other hanging shoe um, and I don't have enough beads for them either so I'm gonna have to make them next Tuesday or Wednesday which is a bit annoying because I already have a lot of stuff to do on Tuesday and Wednesday I've got to film a cage video um start packing the boxes there's just a lot to do um but yeah there's not really much i can do unfortunately so i'm gonna finish these up um, and package them so this will probably take about 30 minutes to an hour So look who I've just spotted, wait, <laughs> um, I don't really get to show Bluebell in my videos that much anymore because I'm very rarely at home. Sometimes when I do see her during the day when I am home, I'm not filming, but I just went to pick up my camera to film something and she's just come out of her house. So there's a bit of Bluebell cuteness for you. Um, she's still very aggressive. Um, and she does try to bite you um, but I'm going to give her a treat ignore how messy this drawer is I've just popped in um, her stuff from Smudge and Mr Moo because I'm going to be cleaning her cage out next week so I've just popped them here um, but she does take treats from like my hand and she'll let you stroke her if you've given her a treat um, where has she gone? Bluebell I don't know if she's in here oh yep there she is a treat for you she loves her pumpkin seeds. Come on. 
There we go. I normally try to hand feed her a treat a day. Um, it's usually a pumpkin seed um, or a little bit of dried pumpkin. There's also pea flakes in there. Um, or I'll give her one of these little dried apple pieces. Um, she doesn't really have a lot of treats, to be honest with you. And the ones that she does have, they are quite um, healthy. Um, she does still have one of these rosewood dandelion sticks left. Um, so I think I'm going to pop this in her cage when I do her next theme because she absolutely loves this. Um, and I've also got these treats to, to try her on. So these are by Rosewood, just a naturals, um, apple and strawberry bunnies. I'm pretty sure she will love these. Um, but yeah, I don't really tend to give her that many treats, to be honest with you, because they're not always the healthiest for hamsters. Um, and when I do give her treats, it tends to just be natural, healthy stuff. Um, she's also got some freeze-dried chicken in here. And then in here, she's just got all of her um, whimsies too. She's just <laughs> watching me <laughs> talking at the moment. She's the sweetest. Um... And then I've also got some dandelion root, which she loves. Is, is I've had these three parcels that got returned to me over the past, I don't know, month or so. So I thought I would open them up with you guys. Some of them I have already opened. Sometimes when I send stuff out, for some reason they can't be delivered to the um, customer, maybe because they didn't provide the correct address. And I have a return address on there, so then it gets sent back to me. So this is just a thank you note. I still that part so here they ordered flat sprays and this is also a pack of the four seed blend then we have this one in here we had some freeze-dried chicken um some whimsies chews and there's also some treats in here so these customers have already been notified and refunded and whatnot um i just wanted to unbox them <laughs> with you guys on camera um because i like showing you guys like my business and the behind the scenes and sometimes things like this happen it's not very often it's got sent back to me because i'm not entirely sure sometimes you just don't really know why it got sent back to you but yeah this one just has this sticker on and then we have this one which was also um undelivered so for some reason they couldn't deliver this to, to the customer because it said because it said their address didn't contain a PO box number if you ever order from my etsy um please make sure you use the correct address because when i print out my postage labels um it gets printed out with the address that you guys leave when you order on etsy i think this is going to be quite messy because this was a flower and forage box um so inside we have two whimsies chews um got a wooden chew here i think this was some kind of garland so in here was a pink garland and then this would have been a flower and forage mix but I'm just going to chuck the whole flower and forage mix away. Unfortunately I'm going to have to dispose of all of these which is a little bit of a waste but um, it happens sometimes. So good morning you guys. So I'm actually getting ready to head out to work um, in a minute. Today is Thursday so I'm just working today and tomorrow and then I have a Saturday off. Um, but I hope you enjoyed watching this studio vlog. Um, I feel like the studio vlog wasn't really that interesting probably because I wasn't packing any orders and stuff. Um, but in some of my upcoming studio vlogs I will be packing orders again. This vlog was me just pretty much doing um, a restock so I've done as much as I can I can't really do anything until next week Tuesday and Wednesday where I'm going to be making some more products towards the boxes um, I'm just hoping that my beads arrive because I need them to make the chews for the boxes and I also need them so that I can restock the chew toys um, on my Etsy I've still got a lot to do but I'm planning on opening my store on the 31st of August um, I'm not going to have everything on there when I open but over the next couple of weeks I will be adding more stuff on um, and there'll be a few new items on there as well so 
if you want to order from my shop just bear with me I'll have like the flower and forage boxes available at some point in September I've got to order like flax and prep the flax and everything but I'm not worrying about that now I just want to get my shop open again um I'm going to be filming another studio vlog next week like I said um and then probably the week after I'll do another studio vlog and I'll be packing orders in that one um so yeah I've got a busy couple of weeks ahead I've got a lot to do with my shop um and work's been a little bit busy as well my work schedule's a bit different um over the next coming weeks and stuff so I've got to sort all that out but yeah so I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog and yeah so I'll see you guys in my next video bye for now Thank you.